the bigger picture kind of idea? Yeah. Good, and I think that's good. We should be getting there now because the performance is coming up soon. What are the questions? Square? Mm -hmm. Walking? Mm -hmm. um, you're, the, you're the clinical. And here, here are all the scores. <laughs> <laughs> demonstrated was really good and that would be a good thing for you to do next time too yeah. you could use this shorter set of conducting the chest okay. yeah good okay continue Sometimes. 
sometimes it feels like it's it's falling a little bit. Um, I kind of sometimes it can kind of fall back. Karen, share a comment. What's gonna play? Uh, they're gonna play behind your beat, and it's okay. Um, really feel the eighth notes, and if it helps you, sixteenth notes because that's the smallest division of the beat. Um, and really feel that like in your center right here. And because right here is halfway between both of your arms. So if you feel it here, then both of your arms will communicate well with that. Yeah. So it, it, I think Aaron hit it on the head. I think the, the, them playing behind your beat is showing the officer, hey, I'm just trying to see how can you get that down to the next beat. There we go. Okay, and again, do it again. So you're feeling thump, 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 really strong on the inside.
and like while you're playing and like keeping in time with your body stuff is you can you like improve vastly as you pass. So find whatever you were doing with your flute playing, make that better and apply that to your performance. Cool. Um at nine, Jason, what with the, the chime would probably be do picks and just I feel like maybe you're waiting for confirmation of whether or not you're right and you can maybe show us that you believe in your tempo with, uh, rather than waiting on confirmation if that makes sense because then it's just going to drag and be confusing if you just kind of lead the way and you leave us behind if we can't keep up or something instead of waiting on us I think that might fix that Your insistence about no, let's let's get it right is really great. You do that in such a way that it's respectful and it's nurturing, but it's also very clear that you you have a high expectations, which is wonderful. Um, that takes a lot of work for a lot of people, and you do that really well. Uh, something to be careful of is to you use the full range of motion for your left hand for even the smallest swells. Yeah. So try to um, something that you could do is in a practice room because there are blocks say this crescendo I'm only going to use two blocks on the wall and make sure you only stay within those two blocks and the bigger the crescendo the more blocks you can <coughs> use. That may be a visual representation that may help you. Um, I haven't tried it before, but it might be helpful. Are you a video recording your rhythm? Your practice? I think you know. So do you see any kind of a little bit of unorthodox things happening? Are you doing that? Yeah, and I'm like with self work a lot. Yeah. But I don't So just try to think less. Try to show less or try to show more in less space. I think that's kind of what Aaron is saying. So we have the problem, a lot of us do, of following what we feel like we're conducting rather than what we see we're conducting. How in the moment when we're on the podium do you conduct? <laughs> what? A, that's a great question. Say that again. So we have. How do you actually show what you think you're showing? Yeah. Oh. So man. you do it by <laughs> exaggerating first. Okay. More is more has to happen before less is more happens. Okay. And then you have to train the ensemble to exaggerate what they see. So those are two very different things. Mm -hmm. First of all, you have to exaggerate what you feel, which we don't even do as we play. That's why I'm <laughs> always happy you guys to do that. So that's the first thing. The second thing is we have to train our ensemble to exaggerate what they see. But as we train them to exaggerate what we see, we start to show less because we want them to exaggerate what they see. So we conduct less, they play more. That's how it happens the first time. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. You have to have really great rapport with your group. Mm, true. Okay. Thank you very much.